नमस्ते टू यू वी हैव एन अदर एपिसोड ऑफ द एडवाइसेस फ्रॉम द रिच क्लिनिकल एक्सपीरियंसेस ऑफ मोर देन 60 इयर्स फ्रॉम डॉक्टर सी पी मैथ्यू सर्स करियर ही इज द मोस्ट एक्सपीरियंसड ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट इन इंडिया फॉर श्योर एंड मे बी इन द वर्ल्ड टू and in today's specific episode he would be narrating about uh, lymphoma be it uh, hodgkins or non hodgkins and of course the case histories that we like to share with you are shown in the uh, screen further on you will have my audio and also for the narration too but then uh, we will also make sure that uh, sir is making his opinion as we know that uh, the lymphomas may be just found by chance that a person feels a node here it can be here it can be here i mean any part of the body it can be we may call it stage 1 2 3 4 we may call it uh, type b type uh, uh, t whichever uh, classifications all that are known people may have weight loss some may have symptoms of only itching in the body some may have night sweats some may have fever um uh, at night in the daytime fever may come and go they may have a node or nodule of lymph uh, node being uh, more visible uh, some may have no symptoms and many times it may be just incidental finding so whatever be the reasons uh, and whatever be the symptoms and plenty of things you will have in the google anyway to figure out uh, our task is to know from sir if there is a role for surgery and if there is a role for chemo if there is a role for uh, radiation and if so what he finds is a life expectancy typically and uh, of course we are aware of the the survival levels of 5 years for nearly 40% of the people or a 60% perhaps yeah i think that's more accurate uh, and we also have situations where the survival rate is easily 10 years uh, for about 40% of people and uh, anyway it's all facts you are aware of i made a quick summary of that to build up the case uh, mentioning so though that specific case is already shown to you now uh but I would... now when you talk about hodgkins or lymphoma i am reminded of a case one harinath who was working in new zealand a senior scientist there he had lymphoma non hodgkins lymphoma he had chemotherapy years ago again it recurred after a fever and again he had chemotherapy and chemotherapy with chemotherapy went on chemotherapy went on for some time and finally he was about to die almost on the bed at that stage he resigned his uh, job in new zealand and came to kerala he is from calicut he went to kotakal vaidyashala and there they gave him ashwagandha churna now he has been using ashwagandha churna for some months and years now he is perfectly healthy absolutely free of any lymphoma so that is the course of lymphoma in kerala that is why there are so many drugs in siddha ayurveda etc etc where we can manage all these cases with uh, those drugs simple drugs very cheap and all these chemotherapy drugs are costly and patient's immune system is uh, totally damaged with the chemotherapy system whereas in this uh, with this ayurvedic and siddha drugs your immune system is boosted and now harinath is in excellent health for years he is doing lot of service by making this public through various i think he has a website also now with this and that is a fate because lymphoma it is a system the malignancy of the lymphatic system now lymphatic system as you know it is present throughout the body so even if you detect a lesion in the, one of the areas it is there in every system every part of the body so it is a sy- systemic disease and you have to treat it as a systemic disease and most of these cases i my present policy is give a short course of chemotherapy and a long course of immunotherapy immune With boosting yeah immune boost immune, immune boosting drugs yeah, like yeah. siddha immunotherapy siddha and uh, not immunotherapy siddha and ayurveda and, uh, and that gives them uh, they go on in perfect health in their daily normal life that is the beauty of it that is my policy now i think that is the best policy instead of giving repeated courses of chemotherapy and killing the patient 
And sir, would you say there is any role for uh, surgery? Hardly any. Absolutely no uh, sir, uh, role for surgery unless it is producing some block or something like that. Yeah, and any any scope for radiation, radiotherapy? Radiation, there is a scope because suppose you have a, a large mass of lymph nodes uh, blocking the trachea or lungs or rectum or any any place, those lymph nodes can be destroyed by radiation, local radiation. And there is what was in my uh, student days, there was a, a method called chasing technique. And wherever there is a tumor, you treat it. You go on chasing the tumor, like that. So that is a simple method, it is possible. So surgery has no role actually, because with a, this is a very, very sensitive tumor. With either chemotherapy or uh, radiation, it is a very severe. So surgery, uh, unless there is some serious problem, surgery has no role. And as you have uh, realized now uh, that how in the same disease, different options used wisely in the right time, and everything has a role. Uh, we are not denying or downplaying or sidelining any methods of any systems of medicines, but very important that everything is done at the right time in the most sensible manner for the best possible outcome.